Yeah, I got my paint out. And I just put two coats of paint up here. By the time I put one coat on over here and then over there, this was dry enough because that, that fix it off material is kind of like Quick said, it soaks the paint up, it was dry. And I put a second coat on there. And it's gonna look, you know, not half bad uh, for the time being until we decide on what tile to put up there and we get the microwave, uh, new microwave installed first and all that kind of stuff because we're gonna go right up to the bottom of the microwave. Okay, so my next step is to find, I've gotta get my construction light on and, and carefully look at this and try to undo all the screws. I'm hoping most of it is, is screwed down and um, I've seen a few screws here and there and there's some over in here and hopefully that's enough to where I can pry it up a little bit if, they're, if they nailed it with any finished nails or anything like that. And where, the, uh, where, these, where these corbels were, um, initially when I painted everything I thought I would take this out, you know, the, the tile and the concrete mortar and stuff and leave the plywood. Okay, and then they would do the countertop over that, but no, the installers didn't want that. They wanted this ripped off. So when I painted up here, I painted nice and tight up in here. So I may have to score that lightly with a sheetrock knife. I don't know. I didn't, luckily I did not caulk it up there, but I don't know if the last person did or not. So I'll have to look at that because the last thing I want to do is start prying on this and pulling it up and have these come loose. Okay, because these are going to stay. That's what's going to hold the uh, countertop up after I pull this plywood. And I'm looking at this plywood, and this plywood is one full sheet. You know, from here, from here over to there. And that's one straight shot. So I think if I get it up and I get most of the screws, even if there's a couple nails, if I can just pull this up a little bit and then maybe use some pry bars under there and stuff, I'll, I'll be able to get it. And then this piece goes from here to there. So that should be easy enough. And this is one piece, okay? So I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna show you that. I mean, it's pretty simple. Just be careful with it. I'm, I'm keeping my craft paper down here. And uh, as, as it is, I've got a few things in here uh, that I may get out of here and stuff and move. But I'll get it and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Well, I got two pieces off. I got that one off and that little piece and that kicked my butt. Look at this. This stuff, they put construction adhesive and then they nailed it, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it all the way around. On both pieces, look at the construction adhesive along there. And they had little nails, boom, 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 boom. And then once I pulled it up, I had to scrape off the top where the, where the construction adhesive was. Oh man, my hands are sore. Look at, look at all the nails. How did I get that off? Well, very carefully. <laughs> I, had to, I had to pry up a little bit and then I took, I took a hacksaw blade no joke as I got underneath there I was able to cut one nail and then pry it up a little bit with my putty knife and a screwdriver and did another one and did another one and did another one until I could get my my other pry bars under there a little bit and then a two by four here boom 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 oh man this is taking forever and look at all the screws they had on here I've gotten all the screws off but but you can see see all these nails a lot lot some of them were staples to go on top for the uh, uh, the metal before they put the wire mesh before they put the mortar but lots of these are nails finished nails that go right into the uh, face frame and so I've got to cut all those Pry it up, and I've got to do the same thing around there. I'll, I'll show you a little bit about that tomorrow. I wasn't going to show you any of that, but it is just coming up hard. I wish these guys would have 
let me leave this plywood down and then they could have done their corn their edges a little bit differently but oh no oh no that's not how we do it that's not how we do it and I'm like okay I was dreading taking this off and see there is no backing back there in the corner they just ran across here because there's a lazy Susan in here and they got a back on there and they figured oh the plywood's just gonna finish it now now their top is not gonna bow down at all I don't think I need to do anything back there but I might in case they think they can sneak a little bit of uh, mastic under there you know when they when they glue these countertops down and this is uh, I thought I was gonna get done today but um, I'm getting tired from bending over and scraping and I had to I couldn't scrape all that stuff off with with uh, with my putty knives I so saw I had to take my sheetrock knife and and go a little bit and a little bit and a little bit and uh, it's just you know one thing after another but hey I'll get it today's Saturday and I'm, I'm cutting out for the rest of the day and uh, uh, later on it's it's like three o'clock now yeah I don't think I'm gonna do any later on I'm gonna take a break here and I thought I'll I'll get on it uh, tomorrow hard at it and uh, get this piece out of here in one piece and I was thinking if I didn't want to take it out in one piece I could cut it across but I would have to be real careful only to cut it the thickness of the plywood because because I don't want to get into the face frame you know but I'm thinking that once once I pry up I still have to pry everything up and see once I pry up a certain amount and, and get the nails loose along over here and along this face frame See, there's, there's, there's only a little bit of face frame left from here to there. And uh, then they have that glued under there. But then, see, then they've got this piece here. So I should be able to get something under there and, and pry on there because it's wide. Now, granted, this piece is only three quarters, so I have to be careful when I put a pry bar on there that I don't gouge the outside edge. And then... Um, I've got corbels under here, so so this this piece here. If I if I can get this section loose and um, know that there's no screws left, I don't think there's any more screws. See, then the force of pulling the plywood is going to loosen up um, any finish nails that I can't get to over here and up against the wall and um, along along over here if there's another piece in here that I couldn't get to because they they really nailed this boom 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 and then they had glue all on this so when I was trying to pry that up man I was having a heck of a time and I didn't you see there's this edge it's not even three quarters of an inch thick it's like five eighths and there's only so much prying you can do on it before you you break it or gouge it on the outside or or break your face frame you know, you got to be, you really got to be careful when you're doing this as it is. Um, when I did this up here, see how when I had the crowbar in there, I messed that up. But most of it is on the inside. So I'm good. And then uh, it's, it's going to cover that and then the stove's going to go in there. You're never going to see that because the counter is going to come out, you know, a little bit. Um, but... Yeah, these aren't, you know, it's only particle board, you know, on the ed on the edges here. And um, here is alder or whatever the face frame's made out of. Most most of the time it's made out of alder when you have birch fronts. But in any case, hey, it's slow going, but I'll get it and I'll finish it up tomorrow. I, I think I showed you I did the painting and I've already scuffed up the paint in a couple areas from running this plywood. That's okay. I can touch that up later. And, and that's just going to look, you know, like that until I get the, uh, the tile on there. There's no way I would ever finish the walls with fix it all, two coats of fix it all and then paint and call it good. I would never, ever 
do that. But for here, it's okay for the time being until a few months from now, we finish off putting all the tile up on the walls. We can't put the tile right now. You were watching prior, this is an old microwave. We're still using it, believe it or not. And um, we're getting that replaced and that needs to be replaced before I run the tile up underneath it in case it's a different height or even if it's not a different height, it's going to make it easier to, to put that in without the tile on the wall. You know what I mean? And so step by step, you can do it the same way if you're willing and able, you know? Hey, the, the things I do to make a video for you, and this area here, we just didn't have time to do all this before we moved in, and so, you know, that's why we've got the plastic up, that's why I'm doing it now, and you, like I say, you just do what you gotta do. All right. I'll catch you tomorrow.